Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. So today's video is going to be my monthly anime figure haul. So <laughs> I bought quite a few figures this month. Uh, I don't know. I guess I was just in the in the spending mood, but yeah, I went a little crazy this month. I have quite a few figures to show you all, but. Before we get into that, I would like to thank our very first sponsor here on Gwen Collects, Bai. Bai is an online proxy service that lets you shop on a bunch of different Japanese sites such as Yahoo Japan Auctions, uh, Amazon Japan, Mercari, and a bunch of other really great Japanese sites. And they let you make bids and order off of these websites, and then you can actually consolidate your orders, if you'd like, and ship them to you. And they have tons of different shipping options, which I don't know if you guys have heard, but Canada has now lost Surface Parcel, which is just a tragedy. <laughs> Thankfully, with Bai, they actually have DHL and FedEx as shipping options on their website, so you have a lot of freedom when it comes to getting your amazing items from Japan to yourself and I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> and obviously I'm going to recommend buying anime figures off of Bai, but there are many 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 items that you can get off of their site and I would really recommend using it. I think you can find some really great deals on figures that you want. I've been keeping an eye out for the Radio Ava Ray figure. I've seen it pop up there a few times and <sighs> I'll get her one day. <laughs> so thanks again to Bai for sponsoring this video. It means a lot. And to help all of you start shopping on Bai, first time users will get a 2000 yen off coupon on their order. So you can click the link below to get that coupon. So yeah, thanks Bai. And uh, let's get into this haul. All right, you guys, the first figure we have in this month's haul is this absolutely beautiful bunny figure. This is the freeing one-fourth scale Chica bunny. And if you watched my unboxing video, which I will link above, you'll see <laughs> how excited I was to get this figure. I thought I would uh, include her in this month's haul just to show anyone that didn't feel like watching a full unboxing. Um, I have been kind of trying to mix it up a little bit on my channel recently. Uh, I've been getting a lot of really great feedback on my chill unboxings. So my plan going forward from here, and I've got a lot of comments that also thought this was a good idea. So I hope that you all are all right with this uh, new kind of format, but I'm planning on doing a few more chill unboxings throughout each month where I give you my initial impressions and the unboxing of the, the figures I'm excited about. And then in my like monthly haul, I'm planning on giving kind of final final thoughts and my final like opinions on the figures because I know when I unbox them for the first time, I'm always like so hyped. <laughs> so once I let that hype settle a little bit, I'll give you more like final opinions in these monthly hauls. So I'll keep this pretty brief, but I must say I love Chica more now than when I got her. I look at her every single day and I'm just in love with her. Um, yeah, I, this is like one of my favorite figures, if not my favorite figure in my collection. Uh, my love for Chica is unending, and I think that she was the perfect one-fourth bunny to begin my collection with, so I could not be more in love with this beauty, and yeah, um, if you have not picked her up yet, I know she was still in stock on a few places, so please pick her up. If you're on the fence, hop off that fence, buy her. She is beautiful, and... Yeah, oh my, like, oh my god, I love her so much. So, my thoughts have not changed since my unboxing video. She is perfect in every single way, and I love her so much, and I think everyone deserves a one-fourth Chica in their collection. Next up this month, I got these two cuties. So these are the Aniplex 1-7th scale Chica and Kaguya figures. Um, they, I ordered them back in like February, but they shipped in early March and took about two months to get here surface. Uh, so honestly, I would say that's pretty quick. Um, they came, the box was in perfect condition. I really have no complaints other than that I had to wait two months for these adorable waifus. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled with these figures. I also did an unboxing of these ones if you would like to check it out. But uh, final thoughts on these are that they are so adorable 
And like, I did complain about how overpriced they were in that video, and I still think they were, slash are, like, $70 overpriced, but um, I really think that they are quite nice figures, and with the way figure companies have been kind of like trending up in their prices, uh, they're not horrible. Like, the price is not horrible. They're so cute. Like, these figures, I don't know. If you're a fan of Kaguya-sama or just want some, like, really, really cute kind of, like, school uniform slash catgirl figures, I would actually really recommend these. Uh, even the bases have kind of grown on me. They are pretty plain, but they're, like, pearlescent and fairly cute, actually. And, yeah, I don't know. They have actually grown on me, I think, since my unboxing video because they are very well executed figures, even if they are pretty, pretty simple. Um, especially Kaguya's. I actually think as much as much as I love Chica, the the Kaguya Aniplex is, in my opinion, just a little bit better than the Chica one. Um, she just overall, I feel like the pose and her face are just a little bit better than Chica's. And uh, her hair is also really cute. So I would say if you have to pick one of these, if you really want one of these, I would actually go for the Kaguya. I know that is blasphemy to my waifu Chika, but the Kaguya is absolutely adorable. And uh, if you haven't watched my unboxing video, the boxes are some of the cutest boxes I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, I would recommend these even if they are expensive. <laughs> uh, I do really love these figures. Next up, we have my very first SkyTube figure this month. So this is my first cast off figure and it is Chitose Ito. Uh, she was also included in my unboxing where I unboxed Chika and Kaguya. And this figure, you guys, incredible, immaculate. Everything about her is flawless. Like I loved her when I opened her. I love her 50 times more now. I've taken a bunch of pictures of her and I don't know if it's just me, but I find there are some figures that are very like photogenic and then other figures that are not photogenic at all. I don't know, like when I when I try to take pictures of some figures, they just like the photos never turn out really that nice. But with this figure, her photos always turn out like you could you can shoot her at any angle and she looks amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, there is one angle that I think everyone probably wants to take photos of her at, <laughs> but I really, really love this figure. And uh, after my unboxing, because I don't actually know her source material, I was told that the uh, the Japanese name for the, like, I think it's an OVA series that she's based on, uh, <laughs> is uh, Show Me Your Panties and Make a Disgusted Face. And that honestly made this figure like 10 times better. And I think that she delivers perfectly on that title. <laughs> so I'm absolutely in love with this figure. I did get the deluxe version of this figure, so she is cast offable. There is a standard version if you're not into cast offs. Um, I don't really plan on casting her off, but I found this a lot when I look at like the SkyTube figures and stuff. They'll make like a, a deluxe version that casts off and then a standard version of their figures, but the deluxe version is always like I don't know, $10 more maybe or like 10,000 yen more. And I'm like, you get like sometimes extra face plates or extra accessories as well. Like not just the cast off pieces. So it's, to me, it doesn't make any sense to buy standard versions of SkyTube figures. I think that you should just go with the deluxe, even if you never plan on casting them, casting them off. Um, I think the deluxe is just like better bang for your buck. Also, if you ever plan on like selling these figures, I guarantee it'll be easier to sell the cast off version <laughs> than the standard version because let's be real. I think there's a lot more people in the figure collecting community that, <laughs> that would be interested in the cast off version. At least I kind of am. <laughs> so anyway, I'm absolutely in love with this figure. I will be buying more SkyTube figures. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys like. Um, I'm like... I'm so tempted to buy um, the the Hurdle Girl or the, the Twister Girl. Tell me what you guys think. Because I kind of want to get them, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 
So we will see, we'll see. You may be seeing an, another Skytip figure in the near future. All right, now I have three new, well, kind of like four new figures that I haven't actually shown on my channel at all yet. Other than in last week's video, you may have seen them in the background. Um, so these figures I did not do unboxings of. A, I was either too excited to open the box and I didn't want to set up the filming equipment, <laughs> or B, I just didn't think they like were hype enough to, to have their own unboxing video. But the first figure I have to show you guys is a Nendoroid. Uh, I always love showing Nendoroids on my channel. I don't buy very many, so it's kind of like a little treat when I do. And I know a lot of you guys love to collect Nendoroids, so it's always fun to connect with the, the Nendoroid community, because you guys are awesome. I love the Nendoroid. I love Nendoroid people. <laughs> you guys always rock. So I did pick up the Corin Kimono Miku off of Good Smile US. She was uh, restocked a few weeks ago, so I ordered her. And I'm in love. You guys, this Miku erases everything I've ever said about Nendoroids. I don't like their base. Well, she has pigtails to hold her up. I'd rather just get a scale. I honestly wouldn't rather get a scale than this. This Nendoroid is beautiful. Uh, additionally, this Nendoroid is actually part of a fundraiser to raise money to restore the Corin Kimono. Um, I actually found out about this Nendoroid from Daijo Wuwu's video where she showed her and talked a bit about her and I just loved like the the message behind this Nendoroid and obviously like the Nendoroid itself is just absolutely exquisite. Um, so <laughs> as soon as I saw her go in stock on Good Smile US I was like what can I do? I just have to buy her. So, <laughs> so I did pick her up. Uh, she was a pretty pricey Nendoroid. I think I paid like 64 US dollars for her. Uh, she definitely wasn't a cheap Nendoroid, but I hope that in buying her, I'll be able to help fund this restoration of this beautiful kimono that she's wearing. Um, I did film a super special video with this Nendoroid that will be coming up sometime in June. Uh, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> it was kind of a train wreck. I really hope you guys watch it, but I also hope you don't, so <laughs> uh, we, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I love this Nendoroid. I think she's gorgeous. She is a very great addition to my collection, and I will be buying more Miku Nendoroids in the future because I'm just in love. Next up, we have a very exciting addition to my Kaon Altar collection, and it is Nadoka Manabi from Kaon. Uh, Nadoka is one of their friends, and I believe she's the class rep. I think that's like this, this outfit. Um, and this figure is absolutely adorable. I got her on Amiomi pre-owned, brand new in box, for like 23,000 yen. How? She's so cute. I think, I think people just don't want her, which makes me like... <laughs> It makes me sad. Like, all the other ones are so popular, and then, I don't know, Nadoka's just kind of there. Um, but I must say, she's absolutely adorable, and I don't know why she didn't cost more. Um, she took, like, four weeks to get here because I shipped her untracked from Amiami, so, like, I was a bit concerned that she just, like, was never going to come. But she came. She came. And I'm in love. She's so cute. And she comes with, like, a bunch of different exchangeable parts. I think she comes with... Two left arms and two right arms, and two heads, actually. And something that's really neat about this figure is one of her heads, this head, uh, makes her so she can be displayed kind of looking back, but her other head actually displays looking forward, which I think is really neat, and I actually haven't seen that on a figure before, so I thought that was super cute. Um, another really cute thing about this figure is her hat comes off, but also with the different faceplates, you'd think the glasses would be attached to the faceplate, right? They're not. Uh, they're actually attached to her bang in the front, so it, that's kind of a neat mechanism so that you only need to have like one pair of glasses, uh, but you can display her with two different faceplates. I don't know. I think that's really neat. I currently have her displayed like this, but her other poses are really cute and I'll obviously add footage of those poses as well, but I don't know. I like to display her with as many accessories as possible because I think all the other figures are very uh, exciting, so. I gotta give, I gotta give Nadoka her moment as well. She's just too cute. 
So my final two figures, technically kind of like one figure in my opinion, are up just above me here. I don't know, the glare might make them hard to see, but I'll obviously add B-roll of these beautiful figures in. They are the Cowboy Bebop uh, Spike and Faye first gig set by Mega House. They are 1-8 scale, I think. So I actually picked these up from a Canadian retailer, Navita World, um, for a whopping 500 Canadian dollars. Uh, yeah, they were not cheap, but I love Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop is made by the same director, I believe, as Samurai Champloo. And I've actually been, I kept meaning to watch Cowboy Bebop for, like, I kept, I just kept meaning to watch it. I actually watched Samurai Champloo first, uh, and I finally got around to start watching it with my brother and... I fell in love with Cowboy Bebop. It's so good and oh, I just, it's its a fantastic anime. I highly recommend watching it. And I decided to treat myself to the amazing first gig set of Spike and Faye because they had it in stock on Nobita World. Now these figures are absolutely incredible. I love how dynamic they are. Like their poses are just so cool. And they can be separated or displayed together, but I don't know why you would ever separate them. I think they have to be displayed together. Uh, otherwise, it's just like not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, the first gig set also comes with a cool like, um, like Cowboy Bebop printed behind them and Spike's ship, uh, which is really neat. If you buy them separately, which you can do, you can still put them together like I have mine set up, but they don't have that cool print on the glass behind them, so. Additionally, the first gig set actually came with two heads for each of them. So Faye comes with her sunglasses and Spike comes with his cigarette. Now, these figures are so, so delicate. And that is the reason I'm not holding them for you right now because they're just like so fragile. <laughs> and I'm terrified to even like breathe on them. Um, when I was setting up Spike, my finger literally brushed past the cigarette and it fell out of his mouth. Like it just broke off which was a, a tragedy. I was really upset about that, but with a little bit of uh, crazy glue, we were able to glue it back on. But yeah, th that, was, that was mad stressful. And kind of putting the whole figure together was really stressful and difficult. Um, I think it's worth it for the dynamic pose that they're in, but like attaching them to those glass panes, it was just, I was so stressed um, and yeah. So obviously I would recommend this figure. It's an amazing figure. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's definitely the coolest figure in my collection, but it is so fragile. So please, please be careful if you do buy it and try not to break Spike's cigarette. Um, yeah, it was just a, that was just a tragedy. <laughs> and I was super upset about that, but we're over it now. It's fixed. You can't even tell that it broke off. It just, ugh, that sucked. Um, I would say actually of the two, Spike's jacket flowing is super cool, but I actually kind of prefer Faye's figure. Uh, I just love like her like metallic top and her really cool socks and her boots. I love her style. Uh, so obviously I love the figure. Uh, their guns are so detailed. Like the, they themselves are so detailed. Their guns are detailed. The glass behind them is detailed. The floor is detailed, has their names on it. Like I'm obsessed. It was worth every penny. And I do know that that set goes for a very pretty penny, so <laughs> yeah, um, I would recommend it though. And if you are a fan of Cowboy Bebop, what else can I say? This is the best figure from that series in my opinion, so I would highly recommend picking it up. Hey guys, editing Gwen here. Um, I just wanted to mention, because I forgot to say this in the video, uh, I am going to be making a dedicated video to the Cowboy Bebop figures because I just, I love them so much. So I also picked up some other Cowboy Bebop merch that's going to be in that video. So keep an eye out for that. I'm very excited for that video. Uh, also, I'm realizing now that I forgot to turn on my detolf lights when I was filming. Oh well, okay. Back to the video. <laughs> All right, so that is my May figure haul. I had quite a few figures in this haul. Um, uh, yeah, I can't really justify why I spent so much money this month. It was just kind of a, I don't know, a splurge kind of month. Um, 
I have quite a few figures coming in the future, so we're going to be having some fun in the next few months. Uh, I have a ton of videos laid out already that I'm super excited about. Now that school's done, I've kind of taken some time to really work on my content for this channel. So I have a few videos I'm super, super excited about coming up. And also, we are really, really close to 10k. So I was thinking for 10k, I would maybe do like a Q&A video. If you're interested in taking part in a Q&A video, please leave some questions for me down below. They can really be anything. Um, figure collecting related, anime related, I don't know, I listen to lots of music, music related, life related, and I'll answer a few of those questions for a 10k subscriber special. So thank you so much to everyone for watching, and if you are enjoying my content, if you are enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Uh, it means a lot to me, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.